peeps, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sasha Kiki here. For today's look, it's very holiday already. I I wasn't quite going for the holiday, you know, seasonal look, but it just kind of worked out that way. I did me a bold, bronzy, golden glitter lid situation and bold red lips, of course, with this cute little bob right here. So I didn't really have any idea in mind like what I'm gonna film. So anyways, I ended up with this eyes, this beat down. If you wanna see how it got created, then please stick around and keep watching. So I'm first gonna start with this Tarte Maracuja Concealer. We're gonna be using this as the eye primer today. You just need a really tiny bit amount of this one because it is thick. And I'm gonna apply it into the crease. I'm gonna avoid the lid for now because I'm gonna go ahead and later put additional product there. And next I'm gonna set it ever so lightly with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is the original one. Just the tiniest amount of product. I'm gonna be using the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's. We're gonna use Zulu as our transition shade. We're just gonna pop this into the crease and buff it out. I'm also gonna bring this like just a tiny bit at the front of my brow because I don't like any room there. The next shade I'm gonna be using is this Makeup Geek Americano. And I'm gonna use a MAC 221 brush into the crease and just below that shade that we just applied. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of the Maracuja Concealer and a MAC 212 brush and we're just gonna clean up the lid and get it ready for shadow. It doesn't look so cut, you know? Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and use a tiny bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set this. So next, I'm gonna spray my Sigma E55 eyeshadow brush with some Urban Decay D-Slick all night, like this one. Next, we're gonna go in with the shade Casablanca. That's from this palette. And we are going to pop that on the lid. So I know we were going for a cut crease, but it's kind of working out that way right now. Hey okay, guys, we're gonna go back in with some of the Americano. So next I'm gonna use the Sephora 24 Hour Glitter Guard. I have some Makeup Forever Glitter right here. I'm gonna use my Sigma F70 Concealer Brush. A little glitter glue here. We're gonna apply this over the lid. And then we're gonna apply some onto the brush and rub it out on our hand first and then pick up the glitter. Okay, so next I'm gonna use this double-sided tape right here to get rid of the glitter off my face. I'm gonna fold it and use the other side. Okay, I'm gonna be using this NYX gel liner, but it's a bit hard right now. So I'm just gonna add a couple drops of my Inglot Duraline one. I've already added one already, so that should be enough. It will help this to like not be so hard anymore. These products, they tend to get hard up after a while. So I'm gonna use this Morphe E11 brush to do my wing today. Okay, now that we have the struggle wing going on, I'm gonna be using the MAC Studio Fix Concealer and my 212 brush, I do this all the time, just to clean up the outside of my wings. So basically, you just wanna do like that, and then clean it up. So for primer today, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Foundation, we're going a little bit old school. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. This one's in the shade NW45. So I'm gonna apply it with my brush first. Then we're gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend it in. So I use a little bit of this to go over like these areas and these areas where I noticed that my scars were like, hello, bitch, I'm still here. <laughs> For concealer though, I am gonna use the MAC concealer. So this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, by the way. This one's in the shade NC42. Um, and then I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender, the same one, but I'm gonna use a pointed tip to blend this all out. Oh shit, it's one of those concealer where you gotta work fast, oh shit. This concealer is already drying, which means I'm gonna have extra work blending. Okay, I'm gonna tame this concealer a little bit. I'm gonna use um, the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. Yeah, the Ellie Girl is definitely helping. Okay, so next I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This one I did mix with the Sasha Buttercup. I'm gonna use this to set all the spots on my face that I highlighted. And I'm just gonna use the same Beauty Blender. 
Okay, next I'm gonna use Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This one's in the shade Medium, and I'm gonna set all over my face that I didn't highlight. This is a Sigma F30 brush. So I'm also gonna use this to rub under my eyes. Next I'm gonna go back in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow, and I'm going to finish off my brows. So I basically just outline and I'm gonna fill in. Okay, now we're gonna create hair like strokes. And then once we do that, we comb it up. So we're gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna use this shade right here, Ada. Just be careful for fallouts when you're doing this because yeah, the fallout is real. The next shade I'm going in with is Americano, and this brush is a Morphe M212. So I'm just going to keep this shade a little bit closer to the lash line. And be sure to get rid of any fallout immediately. So next I'm just going to go ahead and apply some black eyeliner onto the waterline. Now for the inner tear dot highlight, we're going to use Giza, and this is a Morphe E36 brush. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. Y'all already know this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Midnight Black. I'm only using one coat onto the top, top lashes. For the bottom lash, we're gonna go in with two coats. For lashes, I'm gonna apply House of Lashes Iconics. Okay, while the lash blue dry, I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Bronze and Powder. Y'all know I'm obsessed with this one. And this is a Sigma F05 brush. So yeah, I go really in with the bronzer a lot of the times. Now I didn't do any nose contour. I'm just gonna use the same bronzer brush to kind of go down the side of my nose. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Sonia Kashuk Goddess, my Real Technique contour brush. I'm gonna swirl it in there, pop it on the, on the highest point of my cheekbone, down the rim of the nose, well on the tip first. We're gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow as well, this one. It's showing all of my texture, but you know who cares? Not me. Come through, Chin. I see I'm crazy doing this all the time. We're gonna hit up the brow bone one time with this one. Okay, so for blush, I'm going in with MAC Raisin. I'm using a Morphe M105 brush. Before I apply anything else, I'm just gonna hit up this collarbone right here one time with some highlight. Yes. One time on the shoulder, why not? Let's snatch this biatch. So for lips, I'm gonna go in with NARS Cruella. Then we're gonna go in with Kat Von D Santa Sangre. So we're gonna use this to create the shape. Now you guys know me, I don't like to do the whole So I'm gonna spray this on my damn beauty blender. I'm gonna find the side that doesn't really have any product on it. Then we're going to tap under the eyes, her, the forehead, and then the rest of the face. Then one time for the highlight though, one time for the highlight. Of this right here is the end result of the glow up. Anyhow, you guys, that is the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked it. Go ahead and drop a girl a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming back. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Lick more peeps. Lick more.